morning. I think it's still morning. Nope, it's afternoon. My stars. <laughs> My time has just kind of flown by this morning. I've just been trying to get things gathered up and done and uh, see what I wanted to show y'all today. I know that I want to show y'all the little box I made. And um, let me see, I'm trying to find myself on Facebook here, or on Facebook, on my laptop. Let me get rid of myself. And, uh, hi, Kathy. I'm glad you're here. At least I know I'm not going to be talking to just myself, which is okay. I'm guessing, but anyway, I am going to start out. Hi, Jan. Thanks for joining. I'm going to start out by showing y'all the little box that I flubbed last monday <laughs> and i'm gonna tell you whenever i re-watched rachel tessman's video on it i thought oh my gosh i forgot to write something down and when i forget to write something down then i just flubbed it all up and that's why i flubbed it so bad anyway so that's what we're going to start with let me see i don't need that first i need our scoreboard first so we're going to start with it we are using um, the Come Sell Away Memories and More card stack pack. That's what I showed you last week. And I'm using a totally different sheet of paper since I, or stock since I totally messed up last week. And, oh my gosh, it is torn. <gasps> okay, we're going to do a different one than the one that I made because there's two more sheets in here that uh, we can make this out of. This one right here and this one with the anchors. So let's go ahead and use this one with the anchors. But I'll, um, gee, I'll show you my show, sailboat one because it's gorgeous. And if that wasn't torn up there, we could still use it. But it's up there at the top and stuff at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go. This is six by four. So we're going to score all of our score lines before we do anything else with this. So we're going to go along the six inch side using the small ball on our uh, tool. And we're going to first score at one half. Then we're going to score at one and a half. We want to score at three and a quarter. We want to score at four and let's see four and a quarter right here now leaving it on this side we are going to go to the one inch and we're going to score about halfway down to the two inch spot just kind of eyeballing it if it goes below that or not quite there that's okay then we're going to come to the three and three fourths and do that again score it about halfway down to the two inch kind of eyeball it get it about there it's okay if it's not perfect now we are going to turn it this away turning it this away because i want my um anchors to be in the right direction so we're going to turn it this away along the four inch side and we're going to score at one inch right here Right down through here. Now that's all the scoring we're doing. Let's put our, um, our scoreboard away. Now we're going to get our uh, paper trimmers. And looking at it on the left side right here where we made that half inch score, we're going to come up here to this one inch score line here and we're going to snip that out. And then on each of these three score lines, I'm just going to snip at an angle. That way, when we put this together, it's going to lay better. And snip a little angle out of each one of those, like this. You don't have to make a big angle, just a small one. We'll do just like that. And we're going to come right here to this last score line and do that again. Just like this. This is an adorable little box. I love it. And you can put little candies and things. And I don't have any candy to put in mine, so, which is a good thing. That <laughs> way I'm not eating any candy. Then on this end piece, I'm going to do that at an angle. 
and then over here on this end where we snip that off we're going to snip that at an angle also now when I do all of that we're going to take our bone folder and on these full score lines we're going to give it a crease not on the half ones just on the full ones These down here, you don't have to go wild with those. We can just fold those over. Now, we're going to take our tearing tape and we're going to put some tearing tape on here. Just like this. And I like to cut mine because I prefer to have a more of a straight line than a torn line. I'm going to come back and put another piece on here in just a minute, but I'm going to have to pull this off. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip this around. I want to see where this is going to be my back. So I'm going to come down with this one and I want to, this one here, I want to put some tearing tape about right here because I want it to hold these little flaps down right there. And then on this one, I'm going to put my tearing tape more closer to the edge here and that will hold the top tab down. It's real easy to make these. Whoopsie! And uh, you can make a bunch of these. You don't have to use the uh, memories and more. It is just, I thought, oh wow, I can use the memories and more four by six cards to make these little bags. And they're so cute. All right, now then, let me Find the end of my tearing tape again, and we're going to put another piece right here. I just want to make sure that my edge is down snug, that it doesn't gap. That's why I put an extra piece on mine that she didn't, but that's okay. Everybody does things the way they want to do it and how they like it. You know, that's the beauty of crafting. It's your own designs. It's how you like it and what looks good to you. And yes, I'm going to line this up and sit that down right there now then all right looks like a box <laughs> okay these are little flaps go in first i'm going to pull this off of this tab over here that i did it about middle ways because see it's going to sit on our little tabs there that'll keep them down pull this one it's at the edge whoopsie it didn't Okay, let me line my box up a little better. Okay. Sit that one down right there. Get the bone folder. Get a little bar varnishing in there. And then here's your two two inch score lines. And we come in like this right there with our bag. Then we have us uh, some... Uh, I know I have me a piece of, well, okay, I have lost, there it is. This is the uh, Night of Navy Sahara Sand Baker's Twine. I have a piece of Night of Navy and a piece of Whisper White that we're going to use. I'm going to stamp on the Whisper White, and what I'm going to stamp is thanks. The thanks came from the sell Selling Home stamp set that goes and coordinates with the memories and more cards and i have that on a b block and i am going to stamp it in night of navy um the sailboats had night of navy in it this one doesn't but i think it's going to be fine i'm not i'm not going to fret over the fact that that is just you know not as much of a coordinating color but it's okay because really this whole set goes together. You can buy this set in a suite and you can get the stamp set plus there is dies that goes with this stamp set. There's a uh, designer series paper. There's an embossing folder. You get the uh, baker's twine. You get, uh, let me see what else you get with this. You get, mm, I 
can't remember what all you get, but I mean, you just get a bunch of things, and it's in a suite, and it's one price, which is awesome, and uh, it's nice to, to get everything that coordinates in one set like that for one price, and um, Stampin' Up's doing several, several like that in our latest catalog. In our uh, this year's annual catalog, look there, it does not want to sit where I want it to. Let's see, and I guess I probably need to work on my plates and get them flat again. <laughs> They're bowed, and I haven't had time since I worked all weekend, I didn't even get in my crafty room. So, anywho, this is the um layering ovals that I'm using here to cut these out with and you can use any cutting machine that you have to do this with. I'm so sorry I just knocked y'all big time. Ah, knocked y'all big time. Sorry about that. Okay there we go. Set those over there. We're going to take our liquid glue Tell you what, this is my last bottle of liquid glue. I gotta get an order put in. <laughs> and for some reason, uh, this liquid glue, this is doing better right now, has been wanting to free flow big time out of the bottle. And I don't like that because it wastes it. All right, now we're going to get our piercing mat and we're going to get our. Uh, our take your pick tool and we are going to line up the top of our box and we're going to take our your pick tool and we're going to put us a nice hole in the box try to get it center centered I did pretty good that's pretty good okay then I'm going to take our tag and I'm going to do the same thing with my pick tool. I'm going to pick it up and I don't think I got that in centered real well. But that's okay. Just want to get as big of a hole in there as I can. That's one of the things I like about the piercing mat. I can just use it. It doesn't mess up my counter and everything. Now then we are going to take our put that up there twine. Now I'm going to tell you, this twine is a little bigger at the end and it doesn't want to go through the pierced hole. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the end here. Then I'm going to twist it. I really am. It's not wanting to twist very well. Okay. Let's twist it right here. Get the glue on there. That's the secret. It's getting the glue on there. Getting all of that glued together. And try to twist it into a more of a point. There we go. Now then, let me get the glue off my fingers. Because I don't want it everywhere else. You know what I'm saying? So, get the glue excess off my fingers. Alrighty. Now, we're going to start... By putting it through this hole here, just like that. See how much easier? Just slides right through there really well when you've got it like that. And then it says, No, I don't want to go through those. What? I want to go through those. Oops, I'm putting it the wrong way anyway. Look at there, this is the back. I'm trying to go through the back instead of the front. Let's, oh, I didn't get all the glue off. Let's line up piston tool and do this. Oops. Oh, that hole is very good. Then we're going to go right through here, just like that. Just like that. Now, let me tell you. 
these are cute little boxes you can put small gifts in these I'm sorry I am just scooping everything hi Kaylee I'm so glad you're here are the baby is the baby sleeping right now you should be resting too my dear yes Kaylee has a new little one she has two little girls now and they look identical you'd think they was twins <laughs> they're beautiful they are beautiful Okay, let me get my ribbon snips here, and then, see, all you got to do is snip off the ends. And that end that's got the glue on it, it's gone. Ta-da! Now, that's our little box. Is that not just adorable? And, you know, you can use any sentiment. You don't have to use thanks. You can use whatever you want for you, love you, uh, you know, just all sorts of things. Congrats, congrats, anything like that anything like that now this is my first one this is the one that I, when i tried to make the second one that i messed up on is this not gorgeous i love this and then uh the, here's the sailboat one these are so adorable and I, i'm disappointed that that sailboat one has gotten torn i may just try and put just a smidgen of tape on it but these be great favor gifts you know if you're having a gathering and you want to do little favors parties uh things like that you know and you don't have to just use any of the memories and more and the beauty of the memories and more cards is like card stock instead of designer series paper whereas if you made these with the designer series paper they're not as stiff and as strong as this card stock in these memories and mores packs and a memories and more pack if you just want to just buy it it's not but ten dollars i mean you know and you can do lots of other things now there's just uh the one two three four different designs in this um uh, come sail away pack that you can make these cards and uh but all the others you can use them to make cards you can use them for scrapbooking i mean there's so many things you can use these memories and more cards for and you don't have to just do the memories and more scrapbooking you can use these on the regular 12 by 12 scrapbook pages you know and uh they're going to be gorgeous and awesome and th so this is the the cute little box that I messed up on last Monday, and I told y'all that I would show y'all how it's made. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so cute. So, so cute. And see, I got this one backwards, but that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to make a birthday card for y'all real quick. I'm going to try and keep this really, really short. And uh, I'm telling you, my daughter-in-law had a birthday this past Sunday. And the bad mother-in-law that I am, I didn't even realize that it was, it was her birthday. And my darling son did not remind me. Hey, Jesse! Did not remind me. I mean, he could have said, Ma, Sonia's birthday Sunday, and I could have got her a card made. So, since I worked Sunday and had to be back at work at 5 Monday morning, there was no time after I got home to make her a birthday card. So, her birthday card's being made today. And I am doing it in purples and whites. I am. I am. I am using the birthday backgrounds. And here's a card. I'm using the happy birthday on here's a card. I'm using these little things that looks like explosions from the uh, background. We're using the uh, stitch shapes framelits dies. We're using these two right here, these two sizes. We are using Gorgeous Grape as our card base. It is eight and a half by five and a half. I've already scored it at four and a quarter. So we're going to give it a fold and give it a uh, nice crease here. And I got fuzzies from somewhere. Oop. Has to be from here. Okay, and we're let me see which way it's going to it's gonna open better this way. And we're making this card this way instead of this way. Yep, we are. We have uh two pieces of uh Highland Heather. And this Highland Heather is cut at five and a fourth by four. And it's going to go on here like this. I'm telling you what, I didn't start out with this Highland Heather at all. I just went with some Whisper White, which I'm still using. But it is cut at um, five and three and three-fourths. And I glued it. I put my glue on it. Do, 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 and we're also, we're stamping our background. So, yeah. Anyway, I put some glue on it and set it down on my uh, base. And I said, 
it's got to have something in between there. So I just, it didn't have time to stick or anything, so I just pulled it back off, laid it over, thought, let's just go with some Highland Heather. And so, I mean, you know, this card was just kind of made as I went along. So that's going there, and I think that looks better. We have a, excuse me, just a minute. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Allergies are just killing me. I have, um, let me see if this is the right one. Yes. This is, uh, the, on, on the inside, four by two and three, um, four. This one, this one, this one is, um, Four and a quarter, four and a quarter by three. We have a scrap of Highland Heather. We are going to cut that out with that. And I have not a clue what I have done with my um, Whisper White. So I'm just going to grab a piece right here. Because this is what we are going to stamp on. And we're going to use, there they are. <laughs> I could not find my stamps. We're going to use Highland Heather to, uh, no, we're going to use Gorgeous Grape to stamp our sentiment with. So I'm going to do that first. And it is on a C block. And we're just going to ink it up, stamp it down. And it's not straight, but that's okay because we're going to cut it out with this die right here. Now, that's all we're using the Gorgeous Grape ink for. Now we're going to take our Highland Heather and we're going to do the rest of our inking on all of these pieces right here. We have our envelope. Ooh, it's upside down. Let me make sure it's right side up or I'll be, be in trouble. And we're going to use our uh, Highland Heather. And we're going to use these little things. And we're going to make our on paper here. We're going to do that first and then we'll do everything else. And it does not matter. It does not have to be in any kind of order. It can be just however how you want it. It doesn't matter. Uh, it just, just stamp it. You know, just make your background. Ta-da! that not cute? I love it. Oops, I ended up stamping on that one again. <laughs> that wouldn't be too good. I don't know. Probably wouldn't hurt it. Oops, I almost just got did. Of course, I stuck my finger in it. Why not? All right. Our envelope. We're going to put one of those right there. We're going to put the whole thing on there. Then our inside piece. We're not stamping on the inside. We want to have lots of room to write. So, there we go. So, that's all of our stamping we're doing. So, let me get this ink pad closed. All right, now we're going to start putting our layers together. You know, I love layers, but don't love to mail layers. Because <laughs> if you do a lot of layers, it makes your envelope thicker and you have to pay more postage. And I love layers. So, since I'm going to give this to Heath, since I won't see Sonia, I can put all the layers I want to on it, and it's going to be all right. So here we are. Yay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this down here. This is going on the inside. So I'm going to put this one down right here. I just love these layers. Love them, love them, love them. Go ahead and put that on the inside of our card. I tell you, revival last night was awesome. He spoke on the uh, nothing but the blood, and it was so good. I'm I'm excited to go back tonight and hear what he's going to preach on tonight. I love revival. So, but that's why I'm doing. My uh, Facebook Live today is because I was not here last night. I was at church, and uh, so I wanted to uh, get on here today because I miss y'all whenever I'm not here, and I wanted to 
show y'all the little box after I messed it up so badly last week. You know, that's the thing about doing a live. <laughs> Everybody sees when you mess up, but that's okay. We're all human. We're not perfect, and that's all right. We're not expected to be perfect. God loves us just how we are. And uh, I'm so thankful for that. <laughs> so thankful for that. Okay, let's get uh, my Big Shot over here. Use any cutting machine to do this with. And did you hear that? I just slung my blade down into the floor. All right, let me pick that baby up. I think we're going to put that blade back down. That's what I've been using. I think after this, I'm going to get Mm, excuse me, I am so sorry. After this, I think I'm going to uh, see if I can work on my plates. I've got some new ones, but I like to use these as long as I can. Now then, cut these out. There we go. Stamping Up is coming out with a new cutting machine, and I am super excited. Thing is, we don't have a clue how it's going to be, what it's going to be, what it's going to look like, how it's going to cut, anything like that. And I'm excited to uh, see what they come out with. And also, they're coming out with a new trimmer, and we're hoping they're they're, going, they're, they're in high hopes of it being available by the end of the year. And that I'm excited about, too. And uh, the only reason is because it's the company that has been uh, supplying our cutting blades for our trimmer has gotten where they're not reliable. So, uh, I'm just praying I have enough new blades to last me to the end of the year when the new trimmer comes out <laughs> all right now then we're going to take a little bit of of our uh liquid glue and we're going to sit this right here on this highland heather oval love the stitched dies they really give some character to your your cuts all right now I cannot make this card without some dimensionals. Here they are. So we have to have dimensionals on here. And uh, I'm just going to put plenty on here because you know that I do not like anything to be saggy that I put on a dimensional. <laughs> I like it to be firmly held up. Okay. Right there. Got too big of a gap right here. I'm going to have to put one there. Okay. Let me grab another one. Alright. Now then, I'm just going to set this right here in the middle of our card. And now, I have not used these often enough. These are our uh, glitter enamel dots. Are they not awesome? This gorgeous great. Oh, love it. Love it. Let's get our uh, take your pick tool. And I'm going to use these bigger ones right here. And we're going to put some on here. This is not awesome. You have to have some bling. Whoops. <laughs> That bling says, I, maybe I don't want to go. So let's, let's bling up some of these right here, too. This is not cute. <laughs> let's get a little bling on that one. Let's see. Uh, let's, let's, bling. Hmm, let's bling this one right here. There we are. All right. We have birthday card. I have two now. Yay! Let's move this out of the way so y'all can see what we've made today. Here's our birthday card. I hope Sonia likes it. I think she will. Let me show you the inside. So I have plenty of room to write. And uh, here's our box bag that we made today. 
And here's everything we've done today. Let me scoot it over so y'all can see everything. Thank y'all so much for coming and watching. I appreciate that. Love you guys. And then, good Lord willing, if nothing doesn't happen between now and then, uh, I will be back next Monday. I know it's Labor Day, and a lot of people are going to be doing a lot of other stuff. It's just another day to me because I'll get up, be at work at 5.30, get off at at uh, 2.30, come home, and uh, we don't make a big to-do out of it. It's just another day to us because, I mean, you know, if you're not off, then, you know, Anyway, it's okay. And if you're not here, I can just talk to myself and y'all can pick it up and watch it later. <laughs> y'all always watch the replay. Oh, thank y'all so much for coming. And uh, y'all have an awesome week. Get in your crafty room and make something. If you don't have a demonstrator, hey, I hear she is. Be love to be your demonstrator. If you join by the end of the week, if you want to be a demonstrator yourself, and I'm telling you, you don't have to be a business, take it as a business. You can do it as a hobby. And um, when you do it as a hobby, you can just get your 20% discount. Hey, 20% off of your uh, crafty supplies, that's good savings. That's awesome. So, hey, you know, you can just be a hobbyist demonstrator. If you just want to order some stuff, hey, I'd be glad to sell it to you. <laughs> Y'all have an awesome, blessed week. And good Lord willing, I'll see you back here next Monday evening, 7 Central, right here on the Praying Stamper. Bye!